None of us intended for ocean plastic pollution to happen. Since their creation, durable, versatile plastics have been put to use to engineer products that solve problems and make modern life possible. Compared to many alternative materials, they provide important environmental benefits. But it's also true that around 8 million tons of plastics enter our oceans a year. To realize full sustainability benefits, plastic makers from around the globe have come together to help deliver solutions. At 5 IM DC, we announced the Declaration of the Global Plastics Association for Solutions on Marine Litter. Now operating as the Global Plastics Alliance, GPA, this powerful partnership has grown to include 74 plastic industry associations from 40 countries, working on 355 projects worldwide. One of the values of being part of the Global Plastics Alliance is where we share best practices amongst all the member countries, both from US, from Europe and Asia. Plastics makers believe that to end marine plastic pollution, we must invest in improved municipal solid waste management with a focus on emerging economies near rivers and coastlines. Moving forward, what is needed are solid waste infrastructure investment in hauling, treatment and disposal facilities, and formulating and implementing proper policies and legislations to ensure positive outcomes in our marine litter prevention efforts. To that end, GPA members' projects fall within six strategic focus areas. One, raising awareness to educate peers and the public about marine litter. Two, research for facts to define quantifiable goals by working with the scientific community to better evaluate the scope, origins, and impacts of marine litter. Three, promoting best policies to improve user compliance with best waste management practices and enforcement of laws to reduce amounts of solid waste introduced into the ocean from land-based sources. Four, spreading knowledge. To share eco-efficient waste management systems and practices, especially in communities that border our oceans and watersheds. Five, enhanced recovery. Worldwide plastics producers invest in work to better recover plastic products for recycling and energy recovery. Six, preventing pellet loss. To improve the transportation and distribution of plastic resin pellets and products from supplier to customer to prevent product loss. Here are some examples of GPA member projects around the world. In Ghana, the Ghana Plastic Manufacturers Association organized a major beach cleanup in densely populated Chorker. More than 80 volunteers participated in the 2016 event. In addition to collecting over three tons of plastics, organizers included an education and outreach component to the project to raise awareness for the problem of marine litter and the benefits of a clean environment and plastic waste-free oceans. In the Netherlands, Plastics Europe, the Dutch Federation of Rubber and Plastics Industry, NRK, the Port of Amsterdam and others launched Amsterdam Clean Water, a three-year project to reduce the amount of litter in canals and the IJ River. The Litter-Free Thay Pusam campaign is designed by the Malaysian Plastics Manufacturers Association to create public awareness about the importance of litter prevention and educate citizens about recycling plastics. In 2016, more than 400 volunteers set up checkpoints around a temple, encouraging proper litter disposal and waste sortation. Since 2015, thousands of children and volunteers across the Arabian Gulf gather annually to clean up their local communities for waste-free environment. An initiative from the Gulf Petrochemicals and Chemicals Association, WFE promotes recycling, encourages a responsible attitude towards litter disposal, teaches participants to reduce, reuse, and recycle, and promotes that plastic materials can have a useful second life. In the Pacific, the GPA is among a broad partnership effort led by closed-loop partners to fund waste management and recycling solutions in Southeast Asia, with a focus on investments to improve collection, sorting, and recycling markets. In India, the American Chemistry Council is working with Plastics for Change to help recover more litter by connecting everyday recyclers to commercial buyers. The program developed an ethical sourcing platform to facilitate a mutually beneficial deal process for buyers and sellers of recoverable materials. It's astonishing to think that in our lifetime there'll be more plastic in the ocean than fish 
unless we create a fundamental change to our waste management infrastructure, especially in developing communities where urbanization, the cities are growing so quickly and the consumption rates of plastic are growing in double digits. We need to engage the industry to accelerate the development of recycling infrastructure and do it in an inclusive process where we can create livelihoods for some of the poorest members of society in these regions. And globally, the plastics industry developed and implemented Operation Clean Sweep to prevent plastic pellet loss and the potential introduction of pellets to the marine environment, where they create both a litter problem and a threat to sea life and wildlife. OCS helps each segment of the plastics industry to implement good housekeeping and pellet containment practices towards achieving zero pellet loss. Together, we are united in our focus and commitment to reduce the effects of plastic ocean pollution. Most importantly, the plastics industry globally has to work towards achieving the new plastics economy, which is in line with the principles of circular economy to sustainably manage plastics as a resource. We only have one planet Earth.